so cool. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kristen and this is a new pin day. I am so excited about this fountain pen because it's been on my wish list for several months, if not years at this point. I purchased this from a new pen friend, Kay. Thank you so much for releasing this one from your collection. So she wrote me a nice little card. Thank you so much, Kay. I'm excited to unbox this one. Okay, so it has, okay, what are these things over here? Okay, how to fill, more instructions there. Okay, according to Brian and Drew, Pilot Blue and Namiki Blue are actually the same ink. I guess I'll swatch that at some point in the future, but I already have an ink in mind for this fountain pen. Look at it, oh, look at it. Oh, it's actually weightier than I remember. So I have tried out, I've tested out the Pilot Custom 823 at the San Francisco pen show, but I guess it just wasn't, it didn't feel like it was the right time to purchase the pen. But one of the last times that I met up with Kay and a few more friends, when I touched this fountain pen, it felt different. I can't even explain it, but look at this. Oh, okay, so this is the Pilot Custom 823, the number 15 size, broad nib, and. 14 karat gold. So when I tested out this fountain pen at the San Francisco Pen Show, I was really drawn to the medium nib, but my friend Kay had a broad nib. I jumped on this one because I'm really considering having this one with a special grind. What would be really fun is to have this nib transformed into that beak point grind by Matthew Chen. I had so much fun testing out Franz's Pilot Custom 823, it's been on my mind ever since. So to have something like this was such a large ink reservoir and to be able to play with that, oh, I'm excited already. I am going to ink up this pen for the month of October and go ahead and try out the broad nib just on its own. Look at how beautiful this is. This pen is so beautiful. This has been used, but it looks like she flushed it and cleaned it out pretty well. It's a vacuum fill pen. Yeah, so I'm gonna flush it one more time to make sure. Sometimes ink can be a little bit stubborn. As many times as you flush it, if you flush it one more time, you'll still be able to flush even more ink out of it. This is gonna be inked up with one of the samples from the September 2023 Ink Flight subscription box. I've already got it in mind. I've got it right here. This is Robert Oster Blue Martini. This was one of the inks that I really wanted to test out for the month of October, and that's what I'm going to do. It just feels so good in my hands. Oh my gosh, it feels good. And the thing that really shocks me is the fact that I have tested out this pen at the San Francisco Pen Show this year, and I tested it out last year but it didn't feel special to me until I held my friend's fountain pen in my hands. This feels so good. I can't even explain like the finish, the material. It's not like your typical resin, but it, there's something different about it. And I love the weight of this pen. I really love it already. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I'm gonna rinse it out. But before we do that, I want to do some size comparisons with this Pilot Custom 823. I got this little tray pen tray on amazon.com. These are my three Pilot Fountain pens. This is the Pilot Custom A23, the Pilot Vanishing Point, Pilot Custom 74. This is an Asphine V126. This is also a vacuum fill pen. So let me bring this over so we can kind of see the size of these two vacuum fill pens. They are pretty comparable in size. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that blue. The Pilot Custom A23 is just a little bit more pointy at the ends. Let's take a look at the inside of the pens. They are pretty similar, comparable size. Interesting, the Pilot Custom 823 has a step up to the threads. Here's the section, and then you step up to the threads, which are basically flush with the rest of the barrel here. But on the Asvin V126, there's a step up to the threads and another step up to the barrel. Let me get back to size comparisons overall. So as I said, this is the Asvin V126, Pilot Custom 823, the Pilot, Vanishing Point, Pilot Custom 74, and this is a Sailor 1911 Large. Let me take this out and bring in a budget fountain pen that many people probably have in their collection. This is the Twisby Eco. Most of these pens are a little bit taller than the Twisby Eco. Let's take a look at these uncapped. Here's a look at the fountain pens uncapped. 
Let's look at them posted. These are the fountain pens posted. I definitely would not post the Toys V Eco. I typically use that one unposted. This is actually not so bad posted. The Pilot Custom 823, it feels good. The Asphine V126 might feel a little bit more back heavy than the Pilot Custom 823. There's still a little bit of weight back here, but it's definitely made very well so that it posts comfortably. Oh, that's, that's nice. This feels good unposted and post it. I love how Pilot paid attention to the weight distribution of this cap. So if you decide to post this pin, it still feels great. This Pilot Custom 74 feels good as well. The Pilot Custom 74 has a number five size nib and the Pilot Custom 823 has a number 15 size nib. And it's like this sailor nib is somewhere in between the two sizes. I love these fountain pens. They are so very well made. I love how they feel. Oh, I'm happy about this. I'm, I'm so happy about this. Thank you, Kay, for selling me this fountain pen. It is beautiful. I'm already happy with it. <laughs> Let me do like a little dry writing sample before I get started. Yes, it feels good. All right, so I'm gonna flush this pen and then come back and fill it up with Robert Oster Blue Martini. First use of the ink miser. Let's see how it goes. Wow. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> Whoa. That was so impressive. Wow. I guess I'm really happy about this ink miser. Ink miser did a great job. I got a really good feel. Basically all of the ink is in the Pilot Custom 823. All the ink made it into the Pilot Custom 823. What, two drops? About two drops left. Yay! Thank you, Simone, for recommending the Ink Miser and everyone else who uses your Ink Miser regularly. I'm so glad about it. I'm so glad about this. Yes. And it's so easy to clean. I'll just go ahead and write a little bit right here. This is the Pilot. Yes. 823. The broad 14 karat nib. Amber. This is beautiful. Oh, look at that. It just feels, it feels so good. So high quality. The threads back here are lovely. The movement of the rod inside the barrel of the pen was just so smooth. This is Yamamoto bank paper. Let's see if I can find some more river paper. Here we go. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm-hmm. I love this. Nice and juicy. I love it so much. I'm so glad to have it in my collection, finally. I waited so, so long. <laughs> I kept putting it off because there's always like this new fountain pen releasing from whatever company, company A, B, and C, and they're limited editions and deadlines and you gotta buy it now or it's gonna sell out or we only made like 200 for the whole entire planet. So you may or may not get one kind of thing. And I always put this fountain pen in the back seat. Like I'll get to it eventually, eventually, eventually. But a couple weekends ago, it was just like, it's time. And I pulled the trigger. I went for it. And I am so glad that I have it in my collection. This feels so good. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of how the Aurora 88 feels in my hands. It reminds me of how the Montegrappa Elmo feels in my hands. This feels something similar, but there is still, there's still something a little bit different. I love holding this one more than I love this one. Like, oh, this is a great fountain pen. Lovely fountain pen. I enjoy it. I really do. But this Pilot Custom 823 is feeling pretty nice. It's feeling mighty fine. And actually, now that I mention it, I want to bring out the Montegrappa and the Aurora 88 just to see them side by side. All right, so taking a look at all three of these cigar-shaped fountain pens. The Pilot Custom 823 is the tallest. Oops, 
Aurora 88 is the smallest. It looks like the Montegrappa Elmo is a bit more girthy. And I am still blown away by the fact that the Montegrappa Elmo can hold its own in the middle of these two beautiful fountain pens with gold nibs. The Montegrappa Elmo has a steel nib, but I love it just as much as I love these other two pens. This is the Aurora 88 in the Madeira finish. This is the Montegrappa Elmo in the Marshmallow finish. And this is my Pilot Custom 823 <laughs> in the Amber finish. And look at that, the colors of the nibs. So this Montegrappa Elmo is a gold plated steel nib, but it looks more yellow than the Pilot Custom 823. This Pilot Custom 823 gold nib is almost so close to being that same color as this, I guess it's a rhodium plated gold nib on the Aurora 88. There's a large step down on the Montegrappa. This step down is barely noticeable on the Pilot Custom 823. Hmm, the step down here is more similar to the step down on the Asveen V126. So you've got the section, a slight step up to the threads, and then another slight step up to the barrel. The step up to the threads is more subtle on the Aurora 88 and still more subtle from the threads to the barrel on the Aurora 88. All right, so that's it. Before I find something else to talk about, y'all let me know if you like longer videos talking about these fountain pens and comparing them against other things. Or if you like something short and sweet, I'm still new at this whole hobby. So I really, I would really appreciate your feedback on the things that you like, the things that you would love to see in order to make the viewing experience <laughs> more pleasant for you. Thank you all again for watching and I hope you all have a great day. I love this pen. Thank you again, Kay. Yes, I'm a broken record. I, I just, oh, this is lovely. This is beautiful. <laughs> All right. Let me know if you have a Pilot Custom 823 in your collection or if you're even interested in owning a Pilot Custom 823. So I've officially joined the club. <laughs> I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.